what those companies would need to do uh, in the TDM arena. Uh, right now, through the MEPA process, we often place TDM requirements on companies. But there is a huge difference between the requirements that are placed on a company that starts development in an individual corridor compared to what happens at the end of a long development process that might go on for 5 or 10 or 20 years. We have to figure out a way to set up a plan at the beginning of corridor development, establish anticipated and standard uh, expectations for what companies are going to contribute. So that the one who comes in at the beginning doesn't feel they have to do all the work. And the one that comes in at the end or in the middle understands what the requirements are going to be and what the standards are going to be and can factor that into their consideration, not in the form of last minute negotiation, but in the form of the very beginning of preparation for locating at that site. And the last thing I'd like to suggest is that we really do need to find a better way. Some great progress has been made in this, in this regard over recent years. And we heard a couple of examples of it, but we really need to do a better job of figuring out a way to unify the usage, particularly of buses and shuttles and similar vehicles, throughout our metropolitan area, so that we don't have them standing idle, or we don't have them passing by with 10% you know, occupancy, but another one coming from another company. Uh, I see this so many times as I travel throughout the region where there is a desire and interest to advance TDM and a commitment to joining and supporting TMAs, but where there's not enough unification of the hardware, a unification of the infrastructure, with people really figuring out using some of the wonderful technology that we now have available to us, how we can have a smaller number of buses and shuttles, shorter headways, and a greater likelihood that those buses and shuttles will actually be fully utilized. It's going to require communication among many different sectors. Sectors that don't often talk to each other any, you know, all that much. The TMAs, the MBTA, the major corporations, the councils on aging, the school systems, all the other uh, entities that tend to sit in their own silo and, and you know, they touch the transportation arena, but they might not. Uh, actually communicate with each other in a way that is a, as effective as possible. This requires leadership, particularly leadership at the state level, and uh, I, I am fairly confident that Secretary Pollock and Assistant Secretary Fichter know this very well. Uh, they're a little busy with a lot of things these days, but my hope is that uh, as thing, things settle down, particularly from the difficulties that we saw last winter and progress is made, in that regard, that there will be an opportunity to focus on some of these issues as well and really figure out what the objectives are over the next three or five or ten years for making sure that the numbers of riders we've talked about here today look obsolete to us and look silly. And we wonder how we could be satisfied with those because we're achieving higher numbers all the time. Uh, at MAPC, we are very, very committed to this issue. It's an important part of our portfolio. We are all about figuring ways, political, financial, technical, through assistance to municipalities, to move the needle on this issue, and we're going to keep doing that. Allison is a great leader in that regard, and many other members of our staff are as well, and we are committed to it as an issue. Part of that commitment is to work very closely with Mass Commute going forward, very closely with the individual TMAs and very closely with the Commonwealth and of course with our municipal leaders to try and figure out what we're going to do over the next 5, 10, 15 years. So it's really a pleasure to have you here today. I was told I was wrapping up, but I'm not actually sure that technically means I'm the last speaker. Allison, maybe you could tell me. You are the last I am <laughs> the last speaker. Okay. All right. Well, then I guess I will say thank you all to, thank you to all of you very much, and look forward to uh, future work and future victories together in this very important arena. Have a great day.